Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be comparing the aspect of the dragon sword to the pigment sword. So let's get into it. I know I sound like every other YouTuber, but 77.4% of you haven't subscribed. Can we fix that? Now let's get back to the video. Okay, so now let's test the swords on the wolves. My aspect of the dragon does 27,200 damage, and the pigman sword does 23,700. So there's like a 4,000 damage difference right there. Yeah, but it's it's more like 24,000 actually. So it's like more like a thousand. Yeah, it's about a thousand damage difference, depending on the crit I hit. And yeah, now let's go test on spiders. Okay, so now I've made my way over to the spider's den. Let's see how much damage that my aspect... Oh, that guy's doing a boss. Okay, so my aspect of the dragon does 21,400 damage to spiders. And I'm stuck in a cobweb. And the pigman sword does... I didn't even see that. Does 23,000. So, the pigman sword does do more damage to spiders than my aspect of the dragon does. And yeah, let's go over the zombies. Okay, so now that we're at zombies, let's see how much the aspect of the dragon does. If I could crit, you know. Okay, so the aspect of the dragon does about 26,000. And the pigman sword does about 25,000. So the aspect of the dragon does do more damage to the crypt goals and probably all zombies in general. Alright guys, so I'll see you back at my base. Okay, so overall, the aspect of the dragon sword was a lot better. I mean, not a lot better, but it did do a decent amount more damage than the pigment sword. And the pigment sword's kind of worth more. It's, like, harder to get. So I don't think the pigment sword at all is worth it. So, yeah, but that might just be my opinion. So I'll see you guys next video. Peace out. <laughs>